So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a few minutes to show you the many different ways you can use the 10 minute cushion. So Dr. Neely is going to be helping me demonstrate and we're going to be using the grave 10 minute cushion, which is the most common 10 minute cushion that we sell in our office that also comes in teal. But some of our patients are either arthritic or they're a little bit older or perhaps they don't have quite as much flexibility in their spine. And for them we recommend the slightly softer green 10 minute cushion. And there is also a red 10 minute cushion, which is a little bit shorter and it's better for people who are either shorter themselves or for children. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with Dr. Nate's gonna start off with his knees bent and his feet flat on the floor. And we're just gonna put the 10 minute cushion the length of his spine. So all I'm gonna ask him to do, you can see we've placed it right at the base of his spine with him sitting there. Is I'm gonna have him lean back with his hands just resting on his abdomen. And you can see how that creates a very gentle, nice stretch in through the upper back area. When you get in this position, you may find at first that this is too much stretch for your neck or perhaps it's causing you some discomfort. If that's so, then all we're gonna suggest you do is put a pillow under your head to help support your head until that area of your body begins to open up over time. If this isn't quite enough of a stretch, what we're gonna have Dr. Neely do as a slightly more advanced position is to turn his hands up. So his palms are facing up beside him on the floor, which will give him a little bit more of a stretch in through this area. And then when he's comfortable in this position, if he wants to get even more stretch, we're gonna have him take his arms out into a T. If Dr. Neely has spoken to his chiropractor or other health practitioner, and they feel that his lower back is flexible enough, then he could even go ahead and increase the stretch by straightening out his knees. Whenever you're doing this stretch or whenever you're using the 10 minute cushion, please start off with just a few minutes to allow your body to open up and then slowly over time, work up to 10 minutes a day or in an ideally do 10 minutes twice a day, allowing gravity to open up. And all that you have to do is relax to the best of your ability Breathe really calmly and just listen to the signals that your body is giving you. When Dr. Neely is done with his 10 minutes, if he'd like to come off of this cushion, he's going to bend his knees and then simply just roll onto his side and push himself up. If this position becomes very easy for you, you can just stay sitting up. What we're going to do is we would have you do the exact same thing but move the 10 minute cushion up an inch or two. What that will do is it will open up an even higher area of your spine, allowing you an even deeper stretch, and you can go through the same process that we just reviewed.